Hi, and welcome to Fit and Fun. I'm Miss Victoria. This program is recommended for ages six and up, but of course it depends on the exercises. You can, everybody can do it. Parents, you are strongly recommended to be involved in this program. Just make sure that you have already consulted, as a disclaimer, a physician, and they have cleared you to do this exercise program. Especially if it's your first sign. If it's not, I will still make sure that you are cleared to do this program, okay? Now, today we're gonna to be doing some arm exercises. So we're gonna be doing our upper body. So you have one thing I wanna mention before we get started on the things we normally need when we're doing the exercises to make sure that you have a nice kind of roomy t-shirt because you're gonna be moving a lot and you're gonna want something that's a little more room in there when you're doing the stretches, okay? And the exercises. So let's go over the things we always need. It's gonna grab off to the side. I have some form of hydration. I like to do my exercises drinking water. And I like to finish my exercises with either Gatorade, Pedialyte, or Powerade because they provide electrolytes so I'd be able to get them back into my system after I've already sweated out throughout the exercises. You want to, you sweat it out, you want to put those back in. So if you want to follow like I do, uh, make sure you have the Gatorade, Pedialyte, or Powerade in the fridge. You want it nice and cool, so that way when you're all hot and sweaty, you want something nice and cool to cool you down, but at the same time, give you those electrolytes, all right? So, but if you want, you can start off with those. Start and finish with Gatorade, Pedialyte, or Powerade, or you can do like I do and start with water. The other thing you'll need is a towel. And the reason I say a towel is just in case you sweat too much, I know I have a headband, but in case you sweat, you might not want to use it just to get it, that way it doesn't get into your eyes. If you're using a chair as a modification, you might want to have the towel so that way no sweat gets on the chair and you slip. Oh, and of course, if there's any sweat that falls to the floor, you want to have a towel to be able to wipe that up, okay? So I'll put that off to the side. And we're gonna go into our stretches. Now the stretches that we're doing are going to be primarily on our arms because that's the exercises we are doing today. So the first stretch we're going to do is you're going to reach across with one arm to cross you and keep your body straight and with your other arm you're going to get that hand and grab your shoulder. So in this case I use my right arm to go across and with my left, I'm gonna use my left hand to grab my right shoulder. And you're gonna hold this pose for a couple of seconds. And we're gonna do that five times, okay? So I'm just gonna start it off. Once we get those five, we're gonna to switch to our left, okay? So you go across. That's one. Bring it back down. Go across again. Two, bring it down, three, four, five, and hold it for at least five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Now let's switch. One, Two, three, four, and let's hold the last one. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. Very basic, you just wanna get the nice little stretch, not too much pull on that one. Now the next extra stretch we're gonna do for our exercises, you're gonna get your fingers, you wanna intertwine them. You're gonna put it right up against your chest. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna push out. Cause you wanna feel that stretch from your shoulder all the way down your arm to your fingertips, okay? So let's go ahead, we're gonna do that five times. We're gonna hold it for a couple of seconds in between, and of course the last one, we'll hold it for at least five seconds. All right, here we go. Ready? 
One. Bring it back. Two. Bring it back. Three. Bring it back. Four. Bring it back. And let's hold the last one. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Bring it back. Very good. All right, that was excellent. Very good job, everybody. Make sure throughout the exercise, you're taking your deep breath through your nose and breathing out through your mouth, okay? You gotta make sure we're still breathing very good in between. Now, the first one exercise we're doing is we call it arm crossovers. It's very simple. You're gonna have your arms stretched out to the sides. Now, as for your legs, you can either have your feet and legs together or you can have them apart around shoulder width if you like. That's up to you. So I'm gonna have my across. Here you are, almost like the windmill exercise we did. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna cross it over. For example, I'm gonna go one, and my left's gonna go on top. I'm gonna bring it back, and we're gonna alternate it. And the second time, the right hand's gonna be on top. You're gonna do that 20 times. You can do it in sets of five, taking a break in between. You can do two sets of 10, taking a break in between. Or you can just stop at 10. Because as always, now that you know how to do the exercise, you can pause this video, do it at your own pace, and then jump right back in to be ready for our second exercise. All right, so I'm gonna get in position. I'm gonna do a quick countdown, then we're gonna get started. Here we go. One, two, three, and let's go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can stop here if you need to. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We're getting there. Sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20. Ooh, very good, I don't know about you, but I felt that not only in my arms, boy did I feel it in the back right here in my shoulder blades. So you're gonna really feel that, so let's go ahead and shake it off a little bit. We all know like we like to do that wiggle dance, everybody, so let's just practice. I know it's been a while, but let's shake that off a little bit. Take a 20 second to 25 second rest. In while we're doing that, go ahead and breathe in between. Get some water or your Gatorade or Pedialyte or Powerade, whichever you decided. If you need to, by all means, you can get your towel and wipe off if you're sweating already, but that's up to you on that. So far, I'm okay, because I just started, so woo, yay for Miss Victoria. Now, while you're resting, you can take a long break. But I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into demonstrating our second exercise. So if you have paused the video and you finished the first exercise arm crossovers, we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna demonstrate our second exercise so you can jump in with me. This one is called prayer pushes. And the reason it's called is just because of the way your hands are positioned. So if you're doing like Miss Colleen has shoulders in sign language, it's kind of like a B. You want your palms like that. You're gonna put them together and you wanna push off each other, your hands. So that way you get this angle on both sides. You're gonna have it away from your chest. And all you're gonna do, you're gonna do a stretch, you wanna do an extension, but you're not gonna do a full one where your arm's completely above you. You're just gonna push up a little bit. So it's kind of covering your face and you bring it down. Just up. You can see the extension and bring it back down. We can do that 20 times. So you can do four sets of five, taking breaks in between. You do two sets of 10, taking two breaks in between. And you can also just stop at 10. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do my 20. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and do a quick countdown and we'll jump right into it. So get in position. 
One, two, three, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can stop here. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Very good job, everybody. Go ahead and make sure to shake it off a little bit. Now, if you, you take your 20, 25 second break, make sure that you get some water, as always, hydrate in between. However, if you're not done, the kids are like, I still wanna do more, mom. Fine, do another set of your arm crossovers. You might wanna do it at a faster pace if you want, or you can add more instead of 20. Do another 20 of your prayer pushers. You can do that faster, but in that one, if you want good, maybe do it a little slower so you get that extension to the 20 or just add more to it. Once you are finally done, if you still have water, that's okay. You might want to put that in the fridge, but I would switch and go to your Gatorade, Pedialyte, and Powerade so that way you can get those electrolytes back into your system. If you had already started off with that, then just continue and finish with it, okay? But now I'm done. We're gonna go ahead and jump right into our breathing exercises. Always wanna make sure you're doing this in between and of course, finish this way. That way your heart rate kind of slows down a little bit. So we're gonna do five. I'm gonna use my hands. We're gonna breathe in through our nose and breathe out slowly through our mouth, okay? So here we go, take a breath in between, ready? One. Two. Three, four, and five, you want to hold it, so let's take a really deep breath, ready, just deep down, ready. And let it out. Very good. Make sure you're doing it carefully. I do five because if you breathe too many, you might get a little lightheaded. So five is usually a good one to practice on that. All right, so I want to provide you real quickly some library resources you can find on our website. Okay, these books that you can find, you have some exercise books, you can find them at our website, cctexas.com slash library. You can also find some of our online resources which are found on Access 360 and Hoopla. You can do both the apps on your smart devices, make sure you download those first, or you can just do it on the desktop or laptop and go to our website and get to those links. Now, as always, remember, Go to our Facebook page and YouTube channel, which is Corpus Christi Public Libraries. If you haven't already, please like our Facebook page and of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel. This way you can get all the videos that the youth service librarians are providing. If you want a full list of it, by all means, go to our website again, cctexas.com slash library, click on the link virtual programming. You'll get a full list of all the programs the youth service librarians are providing. And of course, it's broken down easily. If you need help finding some exercise books and of course, healthy cookbooks, I know I said the word healthy, you might wanna look, get some and go check on our website, use a new, I would say the new art book alerts, author checks and book news there. They might help you put the items on hold pick them up curbside Monday through Fridays from 2 to 5.30. And if you prefer handheld devices, I will go ahead and make sure you check out the Access 360 and Hoopla online resources. And I will see you next time. Bye.